Hey guys, how are you all doing? Uh, is it working? I always ask this every time I join a live or, or do a live stream because I'm just wondering if it's if it's working. I want to be talking to myself. Had some had some problems in the past with the other channels. Um, so let's get the chat going now. Are you guys here? Can you all hear me? We rolling? Never really done one of these. A live stream where I'm doing all the the mail. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna be a while. We're gonna be here for a bit, guys. Uh. All right, so chat's rolling. We're good. We're live. I guess the uh, the sound quality is okay. So, yeah. By the way, shout out to the merch shop. This is just uh, one of them. So, okay. What should we start with? I say we start with some of the... Well, I'm going to let you guys decide. First of all, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well today. Hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, it's very sunny here in Canada right now, which is great because it was snowing the last few weeks. So... This is an accumulation of, I would say, probably three weeks or so of mail. I'm thinking, yeah, probably three weeks. But we've got some cool packages. There's a lot more coming on the way, but I figure I can like have those for other videos, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. All right. This, you know what? This one piques my interest, so I'm gonna open this one first. That'd be terrible if I like cut myself during the live stream. This is taped up really well. And I hope you don't expect this live stream to be like super fluid. And for those who aren't here, uh, you guys will probably be watching this in a recording. So, uh, hello, enjoy. It says open. All right. What could it be? Bubble wrapped. Okay, nothing in there. Uh, there's a letter, obviously. What's up, Star Wars Theory? When I saw you open up a P.O. box, I knew I had to send you something. I'm a fan of the channel, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the Vader film continued upon. In this package is a custom-made lightsaber hilt that I 3D modeled, printed, and painted. I run a YouTube channel where I make props from video games and movies called The Apropolypse. Ah, that's uh, clever. And this hilt was one of a couple designs I created. It's a, in a Sith style. It's not the best, but I hope you like it. Keep making the great content, the Apropolis. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Now let's check this out. It's actually really cool. I've never had a lightsaber hilt made from a 3D machine before. I'm going to try not to cut myself because that would be a... Actually, that would probably get me more views, but... That's fine. Thanks, everyone, for the birthday messages. Uh, I'm old today. I'm uh, 29, so... Um, oh, this is actually really cool. Dude, check this out. Is it, did it break? Well, it was, it, I think it broke in customs. Yeah. Unfortunately. But, I mean, hey, you know what? Now I can, now I can be like Darth Maul and be like, have these two. This is actually really cool, man. I really like this. And I'm going to glue this back together. Um, yeah, but this is sweet, dude. This is what, it kind of looks like something from, what would, what would it be? Or maybe no, maybe it's supposed to be two. No, it can't be two. This is cool, man. Check this out. Like, the detail on this. I'm going to come up to the camera so you can see. Thank you, Apropolis. This is awesome. Check this out, guys. Like, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's, uh. I guess it broke apart somehow. That's unfortunate, but the detail is really nice. That'd be sick. Maybe I'll use it for like a fan film or something like that. Well, I guess I can put it here until I, uh, until I get it made or fixed. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Let's see what you guys are saying. Are you still flooding with the birthday chats? Okay, so let's just open a regular letter. By the way, guys, this, this, Video is going to take a long time, so uh, thank you for chilling out with me. Um, yeah, it's more of a chill video. Hey, they draw a little, little thing. Dear Mr. Star Wars Theory, I have watched you since at least well under 100 subs, probably below 50k. Oh, 100k subs, probably below 50k. I remember watching your first Snoke Theory video and hoping it was true. I still watch your videos every day. It is my favorite time of the day or night. My sister and I...
anxiously awaited the release of your film and when it when it dropped we both i've got really bad handwriting and so i'm i'm pretty good at reading some messy handwriting um when it dropped we both went crazy i watched it dozens of times you really got me into the film into filmmaking you are talented for sure you are the best star wars producer and youtuber and there there is and keep up the great work my friend you put so much time and effort into every video and it shows really looking forward to some part twos and uh, what if Obi-Wan brought Anakin back to the light? Okay, yeah, I got to make that one. You guys you guys have been asking for that. I'm including some art I made from Star Wars. Not much. Started when I was bored in my dorm room. Uh, hope you like them. This is the one included from the scene from The Empire Strikes Back on Hoth. Regards, Ethan. P.S. Add me on Twitter. Ethan Gunnan, I think. Thank you, man. Though Ethan makes this. That's really sweet. Thank you, dude. I love it. By the way, uh, guys, say hi to... Oh, you can't see little Yoda. So we're just going to have him sit there for a bit until we open the big boxes in the end. And why do we open in the end? Because we want everyone to stay because YouTube works on... Um, if you didn't know, if you guys are trying to start a YouTube channel, YouTube works on yeah, views and comments and stuff and like engagement. But it's a lot about watch time. So the longer your average watch time is, the, the better your channel does. Like the more you're going to make, the more it'll be pushed into recommended videos and things like that because advertisers will be like oh well, like you know this obviously is a, a video where a lot of people are watching for a long time so that means they're dedicated to it and we're gonna you know put our ads on it so stuff like that Ooh. what is this? this looks like it's from nasa or something It is from NASA. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, um, I have a friend from that works at NASA, and he, he, he's this great guy. His name's JR, and you can follow him on my uh, Instagram, uh, Star Voyager 66 And he actually had the name of the film, of the Vader fan film, shot into space into the first, um, not, what is it? First rocket, um, first ship that went beyond Pluto, and it's called Thule, or... What's it called? It has like a really long name. Ultima Thule on New Year's. It's not really that long. Anyways, it was shot into space uh, on New Year's Eve. And uh, it, yeah, like this is the, it, I guess I'm opening it now. It's, it's, it didn't come until now, but hey, it's here. Uh, New Horizons, Cooper Belt, ex what? No, shut up, Siri. Uh, yeah, so that's actually something really cool. Uh, thank you, JR. I appreciate that, man. Next one. This is from Australia, from Liam Curry. I remember your comments, Liam. I remember your comments, man. Oh, we got Super Chats. Oh, I didn't even notice. Um, two bucks from Arc454. He says, I love you, bro. Kai Murphy with a dollar. Blakey T with two bucks says happy birthday, bud. Hello Rocker 66 with two bucks says happy birthday. And Julio Alvarez with 20 bucks says nothing. <laughs> well, thanks guys for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll be putting everything back into the channel. Dear Star Wars Theory, my name is Liam. I'm from Sydney, Australia, and I am also a huge fan of Star Wars, and I enjoy watching your videos on YouTube. What is your favorite Star Wars movie? What is your favorite Star Wars character? I also enjoyed watching the Vader fan film, and it was really awesome. So well done, and keep up the good work. Uh, this letter is from my autistic and disabled son. He's a massive Star Wars fan. A reply in any way would be greatly appreciated. Cheers. From your friend, Liam Curry. P.S. Please write back to me. Well... Thank you, Liam. I appreciate you, man. You have very neat handwriting, or whoever wrote this this letter has a very neat handwriting. Um, I thank you so much for your support. I, I love you. I appreciate you. And um, to answer your questions, what is my favorite Star Wars movie? I would probably have to say Revenge of the Sith. If you can see right there. Revenge of the Sith, and then uh, a follow-up would have to be probably Empire Strikes Back, I think. Um, yeah. And his other question is, who is your favorite character? Favorite character would have to be Anakin Skywalker and Qui-Gon Jinn. Thank you, man. That's, that's very nice. A very nice letter. I, I appreciate it. Hello there. Um, 
What are you guys saying here? Did someone someone say something? Some. Anyways. Oh, it, it's it's one of these uh, my postcard things where like, do you think it's it's neat? Anyways, okay. Um, Dear Star Wars Theory, I've watched your videos for quite some time, and they have helped me through a lot of tough times. And I've always wanted to reach out to you and let you know that. Thank you so much. I have seen your Vader fan film too many times to count, and I can't tell you just how amazing it is. It brought back so many memories of when I was younger and watching Star Wars for the very first time. Please keep doing what you're doing, and I hope someday our paths cross. All the best from England, from Joe Daniels. Shout out. Shout out Joe Daniels. Thank you, man. P.S. When work beings on the... When work begins on the second episode of your Vader fan film series, will there be any new voiceover soundtrack auditions or anything like that? Absolutely. There very well will be. Um, a lot of the team is pretty much going to be, uh, I don't want to say recast, but we're going to have a lot of new characters and a lot of new people on the project because it's going to be that huge. So um, thank you very much, man. I'm going to hang, hang up all these eventually on my wall right here. That's why there's like a bit of a blank space. So thank you. Uh, we got some more super chats going here. Uh, Sam Bender two with 10 bucks says happy birthday. Love the channel and your dedication to star Wars. May the force be with you. By the way, guys, um, a lot of you've been asking about what my call with Lucasfilm was. I can't tell you guys about everything to do with the call, unfortunately, but it was a lot of it was good. Um, they did see the film and I'm going to get to, uh, the specifications on that in another video, uh, by itself. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it was just, uh, yeah, here. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, where was I? Where was I? Oh, yeah. Super Chats. Ian Moon with two bucks says, do you know of Wave on YouTube? Uh, yeah, not a fan. Um, simply put, like, I've, I've had a lot of emails from people being like, oh, like, uh, that's actually, he's actually one of the reasons that I don't do lightsaber giveaways anymore because apparently no one has won them and, um, he just, you know, a lot of his thumbnails, like, he'll put things like, from other movies that don't belong in star Wars and he'll put like a big arrow to it. And I'm just, I'm not a fan of that. Like I understand, you know, we got to get views and stuff, but I just think there's a better way of going about it. Um, so to answer your question, Ian, yeah, I, I do know of him. Um, but, um, not personally, I'm just, yeah, I've just, uh, seen him around, uh, his videos around and I've seen people talk about him and stuff. And, uh, from what I know, yeah, he actually ruined lightsaber giveaways for me. So that's why I don't do them anymore. Uh, because no one whenever I mention something like that people are just like oh like is this a fake giveaway like I've done I was the first one to do giveaways when I had just a I think a few thousand subs and I, I have the video of it I went and bought a uh, force effects lightsaber uh, with like no money at the time and I shipped it out because I didn't realize you could do that with Amazon so but now it's just like everyone's like oh like it's, it's a fake giveaway like it's because it's just gotten a bad name it's, un it's unfortunate that it ruins it for other people but it is what it is who is your favorite star wars character and i'm not saying that i don't know for sure if he's handed out these uh lightsabers to people but from what i hear um apparently there's no proof but i i don't know i don't really care i'm just doing my thing and i've always stuck to my own channel but to answer your question yes i do know of him on youtube um playing for fun says i won my jeopardy well congratulations for winning your jeopardy tournament man appreciate it I uh, appreciate you, you sending two bucks to me. Okay, we have... Who is your favorite Star Wars character or your top three? How many episodes of the Vader fan film will there be? I'd love to pick your brain through email sometime. Your bro, Mace Windu. This is from Mace Windu. Well, I'm wearing your shirt, dude. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And he draws... <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome, dude. I'm going to hang this right on my wall right here. I got like a few other uh, things I got to hang on the wall still. Um, as you can see, there's some that are just laying there. So I'm going to fill up this wall and that wall with all your stuff. And then eventually once I move to a uh, studio, which is the plan in like maybe a year or two, I have a real nice wall with all your stuff. Oh, there was, I didn't even answer his questions or read his actual letter. Someone says my mom has your birthday. Well, happy birthday to your mom, dude. Um, will you get married? Yeah, eventually one day, maybe. I don't know. Until then, I want to reach 10 million subs. <laughs> um, wow, I almost just cut my hand. Um, 
Dead Eye with 25 bucks says, congratulations on surviving 365 days on this crazy planet. Well, thank you, man. It's, it's 29 years now I've been on this, uh, been on this rock. So thanks for your donation. Ferocity with five bucks says, what if Anakin stayed in the council chambers when Mace went after Palpatine? Not, well, this is going to be a long video, guys. I mean, we got like so much to unbox and like we got super chats and questions. So I'm, I'm in it. It's my birthday. Let's do this. It's a, you know, it's a pleasure to hang out with you guys. So what if Anakin stayed in the council chambers when Mace went after Palpatine? Not sure if you've talked about that before. Happy birthday, brother. What if Anakin stayed? I've, I think I've covered that in some other videos where if Anakin had stayed in the council chambers, let me just turn my phone on silent here. If Anakin had stayed in the council chambers, then obviously he would have been granted the rank of master and he would have earned Mace's trust. So that would have changed a lot in the timeline. And I can do a fan fiction if you like. Erica Rombo with uh, $5 says, happy birthday. You should send a hat to Jamie Costa. Good luck. By the way, Jamie Costa is making an Obi-Wan fan film and I've shared it on the channel. I couldn't be more excited for it and I couldn't be more supportive of him. I think he's doing a fantastic job. Um, so I hope you guys will check him out too. He's, he's, he's awesome. So to answer uh, Adam's questions, who is your favorite Star Wars character? Well, we, we've been through that. Anakin and Qui-Gon. How many episodes of the Vader fan film will there be? Four? I, yeah, probably four. Probably. I'd love to pick your brain through email sometime. Well, email me, bro. Thank you. All right. We're making pace. This is a, it's a little one. Do you use supplements when you work out? Guys, I have a, a lifting channel that I haven't even made videos on yet. So if you guys want to check it out, all the links to my other channels are in the description. Um, you might enjoy them. So. What is this? Wow, that's actually really nice. Check this out. That's very nice. And there's a letter attached too. 20 bucks from Smiley Reviews. He says, happy birthday. Can't wait until episode two. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Um, dear Star Wars Theory. And this was sent... Holy moly. This was sent a while ago. I wanted to say thank you for making Star Wars more special to me than it already was. I have been a subscriber for a long, long time. I was so amazed of your Vader fan film that I watched it over and over like 10 times. I also showed the fan film to some of my friends and family. They liked it as well. I am hyped for episode two. I will help you make episode two happen in any way that I can. In this envelope, you will see a drawing of Darth Vader's helmet that I made, which took me three tries to get it perfect. I hope you like it. Keep doing what you are doing and always listen to the fans. And remember, the force will be with you always. Signed by Galaxy. I can't read with that other. <laughs> I don't know what it says. Galaxy. Oh, Galaxy Warriors, a huge Star Wars fan and a huge Star Wars fan. He says it twice. You must be a very big fan then. Um, I really like this drawing, man. This is very nice. I used to draw when I was a little kid. Uh, a little fun fact about me is I was an only child, so I spent a lot of time by myself. And uh, yeah, I used to draw a lot. So I really appreciate drawings. I love it when you guys send me drawings. It's it's really nice. So I'm gonna put, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put all the drawings over here. That way we don't lose track of them. Hey, who gave him the three dislikes? Ah, oh, that's YouTube, man, it happens. I mean, not everyone's gonna like you. So you get used to it. Uh, five pounds from Ash Nuki, he says, or she says, uh, he says, happy birthday, bro. How is Vader not your fave? Haha. <laughs> well, Anakin's my fave. So indirectly, Vader is my fave. Have a blessed day and thank you for what you do. Much love from the UK. Well, thank you, man. Thank you for the birthday wish and uh, the five pounds. Appreciate that. So, oh, wow. Guys, I think we're in, we're in for a treat here. This is a holy moly. Dude, look at this drawing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up. Check this out. Oh, you can't see. You guys can't see. I know. I'm sorry, but it's really good. Like, really good detail. It's Revan. If you didn't know, Darth Revan. 
is really nice. I'm gonna put this one here so it doesn't get ruined. Um, where did I put your letter? There we go. Okay. Okay. Hello there. My name is Zach, and I'm a huge fan of yours. I first discovered your channel about two years ago with What If Order 66 Failed. Who remembers that video? Anyone? Anyone? Um, and from that moment on, I've been subscribed to you since then. I have watched almost every upload from you. I have to say, my favorite video of yours is Shards of the Past. <laughs> Thanks, man. Ever since you announced that you were making a fan film, I got very excited. I wanted to congratulate you on all of the success you've had or you've achieved, and I also wanted to personally thank you. I suffer from a severe case of manic bipolar depression, and Star Wars is my escape. I find it difficult to maintain positivity, but your videos really help me. I wish you the best of luck with your channel, and I greatly look forward to the rest of your Vader series. Fulfill your destiny, Zach. P.S. I included included as a drawing of my favorite character, Darth Revan. It took me two days to finish it, so I hope you enjoy it. Zach, um, whether you got manic bipolar depression or not, I uh, know you have a lot of friends here who love you and appreciate you, and I hope you're watching this video. Um, one way you can maybe deal with that or one way to relax yourself is why don't you start a YouTube channel? You know, you obviously are really good at drawing. So I would say, um, why don't you time lapse some nice Star Wars drawings, you know, and I'd love to shout them out. I could post them on my Instagram, um, feature them even in my channel some somewhere in some video. Um, feel free, man. Maybe that could be like, you know, an, a nice outlet for you to, to have some fun and uh, relax. So thank you very much for your letter. Uh, I really appreciate the drawing, and it's going to go right up on my wall. Thank you. Oh, this one's kind of uh, thicker. What the heck? <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a, it's a USB. Is it a USB? I was worrying what this was, man. I thought I was going to get demonetized for a second. Like, <laughs> Okay. It's obviously a USB of some sorts. Now, what's on the file? Ooh, this is going to be hard to read. Dear Star Wars Theory, you mean so much to me. I love your videos, your fan film, Shards of the Past, everything, your videos, Shards of the Past, every, ever this, that you made is amazing. You taught me everything about Star Wars. If you were a character in Star Wars, who would you? What? If you were, if you were a character in Star Wars, you would have to be Yoda. Sincerely, oh, thanks, man. Well, hey, he's right here. So, it's a coincidence, I think not. It would mean the world to me if you would let me be a clone in your next film. I was only six when the Clone Wars came out. Now I'm 16, and ever since, I always wanted to be one. I even made two little clips of me being a clone. It is this hard drive. I am 6 foot, 140 pounds, and he gives his phone number. I don't know, should we call him on live? <laughs> that could be fun. Um, I'm not going to show this right now, obviously, because who knows really what's on it, but I'm, I'm, I don't know if he wants everyone to see it, but um, thank you for reaching out, man. Like... Uh, your email's on here, no? Email me, and then we'll we'll be in touch for the for the fan film. Um, hey man, another fan from the UK. Um, the one that sent you the letter that you will get to eventually. Big love from the UK too, my dude. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. So wait, did I already open it? Anyways, thanks for the five pounds, bro. The Salty Brit. Man, we got a lot of UKers over here. What's going on? Uh, stream time. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Happy birthday, my dude. I was incredibly happy for you to see your plans for the Vader film come to light. Best wishes. Have a great weekend. Thank you, man. I appreciate that very much, and thank you for the 10 pounds. Bryson Carter says, with two bucks, you're my favorite YouTuber. Keep up the good work. Thank you, bro. I will. I will never stop. Josh, with two bucks, says, if and when I have a son, I'm going to name him Revan. Be an interesting name. Gamer Dad with two bones says, not much, but every dollar counts towards, yes, it does. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm going to stop wiggling this around. Uh, uh, 
seven Ickle Studios. Ickle Studios with uh, two bucks says you should make a film of Obi saving Anakin. I did. I did make that, and it was one of my favorites. Actually, I worked really hard on it. Um, it it's called "What If Obi Wan Took Anakin with Him from Mustafar" or something like that. Someone find the link and and throw it in chat. But um, and if you're still here, hit like to support the video. So uh, there's that. Thank you guys very much. Should we do a box? Should we do a box or should we save them for the end? Here, let's do a bit of a th thicker one again. Is anyone here from Canada? If you're from Canada, hit one. If you're from the States, hit two. If you're from the UK, hit three. If you're from Australia, hit four. Um, if you're from anywhere else in the world, hit five. Let's see where people are. Oh, this is nice. Very nice with the with the blue cardboard. See, it's the simple things that get me excited. It's the blue cardboard. Dear Star... Okay, I'm going to take the cardboard out. Oh, it's a drawing. My mistake. It's BB-8. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Thank you, man. Or girl, we're going to find out in a minute. Peyton. Dear Star Wars Theory, I have been a big Star Wars fan since I was eight years old, and I have, and I love watching the movies again and again with my dad. A few years later, I discovered your channel on YouTube, and I kept on watching your videos every day. Also, I thought you, that your Vader fan film was really well done, and I'm looking forward to the next episode. I really appreciate what you do for all the Star Wars fans out there, and I am always looking forward to your next video. To show my appreciation for your videos, I have included a drawing of my favorite droid for you to have. Keep up the good work, and remember, the Force will be with you always. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, and I really like your um, I really like your BB-8. It's really good. Check it out, guys. It's really nice. Got some more super chats here. Um, Adam Zephyr with 25 bucks. Thank you, man. By the way, guys, all of your donations do go back into the channel. Um, I could use as many as you want to send. Uh, thank you so much. And you know where it's going to go. So love the channel, man, says Adam. Uh, just ordered six shirts from the store. Well, I hope, hope you used uh, the, the, the discount code B-Day. 10% uh, off right now. Uh, just order six shirts from the store for my brothers, and I get to wear at Celebration. Well, you're going to be at Celebration, or you're going to enjoy... Uh, I'm not going to announce it yet. Look for the goons in the I Survived Order 66 shirts. I, If you're going, the Force will be with you always. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Um, stay tuned for my next, uh, next video coming soon. Julio Alferez with five bucks says, If you ever feel uninspired, remember that it's not the feeling, but the time and effort you give. Thank you for being that example to us. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, Big FUD with five pounds. I always get five like pounds and euros, the sign mixed up sometimes. Happy birthday from Scotland. It's my birthday too, man. You know, that's really weird. I think because I got an email from either Scotland or Ireland today. Uh, for some convention and they wanted to show the film and I'm like absolutely go go ahead show the fan film um, but I wish I could go out there but uh, yeah I mean that I would all I would love to see Scotland I've always wanted to see Scotland Leah Gatto says happy birthday and thank you for all you do happy birthday well, thank you Leah appreciate that uh, random gamer 37 with a dollar Isaac Illington with a dollar or actually a pound again and Nevin becomes a new member by the way guys channel members so i'm working on a new animation and you guys are gonna i think you guys are gonna love it it's a comedy it's gonna be funny um and also that's one way that you can actually monetize uh, anything any franchise if it's a comedy because that's one of the legal rules uh, it's under fair use so because it's not actually like the franchise but it's just like playing on it uh so i hope you guys will enjoy that but that eventually will go towards just join members and uh, patrons so the first one's going to be free, and if you guys like it, then I'm going to do more and make more. And uh, it's just going to be exclusive just for join guys and uh, girls. You know what I mean. Next letter. My friends. Miracle Draw with two pounds says, Happy birthday. Love the channel. Did you see first super chat? Did I see my f the first super chat? Did you first super chat me? I I'm sure I saw it. I've read them all. Have I not? Oh, it's going to be a long letter, my boys and girls. But that's okay. we are going on the back, too. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, man. Oh, it's going to be hard to read. <laughs> 
I just wanted to take the time to write this letter to you now that I have seen your taking in fan mail. Firstly, I wanted to thank you for doing such a wonderful job with the Vader fan film. It literally blew me away with quality and effort that so many people, including yourself, went to in order to deliver the product to the fans, the, the best, best possible product to the fans. You really are a light in the darkness at this time of division between the fandom. Thanks, man. You know, you know well, I'm going to get to that later. I wanted to thank you so much more on a personal note because I want to let you know that I want to let you know just what a <clears throat> positive influence your channel has on people's lives. I have been a fan of the channel since the beginning, and it really did give me a lot of escapism I needed in my life. And at that time, because of the severe depression that I suffered from, it now is very helpful to me because it is helping me through my studies at university while having to deal with the delightful situation back at home um, or the depressing situation back at home. I, I live in the university dorms during the summers, semesters. My dad losing his battle with cancer that I know is going to take him sooner than later. Ah, this is the stuff that I can't edit out in live streams. Okay, um, thank you from the bottom of my heart for... Thank you from the bottom of my heart for bringing the joy of Star Wars. Woo! A surprise to be sure, but not an exp... Not a, uh, You guys, sorry, you guys really touched me. <laughs> Thank you from the bottom of my heart for bringing uh, the joy of Star Wars to me each and every day through my computer screen. The escapism that keeps me going through all the bad Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> Woo! All right. All right, pull together. Come on. Uh, the escapism that keeps me going through all the bad times in my life and gives me a um, something of bright direction uh, forward into my love of Star Wars that we all share. You're a true pillar of the Star Wars community and a real figure that holds the fandom together. My very best wishes and kindest regards for the future, Jack. <laughs> Good thing I turned it over. Uh, P.S. If this is in a video, could you please blur out the return address? Though I'm not expecting it to be. <laughs> well, thank you, Jack, from the UK. Um... I don't I don't cry much man like but yeah <laughs> you guys just give me a sec uh, you guys mean more to me than than you know 
it's it's beautiful that something so simple like making Star Wars videos on YouTube can uh, reach so, you know like this is this is a person and you know? like it's just it sucks. I really love you guys. So. Uh, all right. <sighs> okay. Jack, I love you, man. And, uh, yeah. Next letter. <laughs> uh, dear Mr. Theory, I'm currently enrolled in, I hope this, I hope this one isn't, isn't, uh, isn't a, a feeler. I hope uh, I'm currently enrolled in an English 102 college course trying to complete a multi-genre research project. I chose Star Wars as my topic and will be discussing various aspects as I was wondering if you could answer my questions. First off, I was so sorry to hear about the mix-up you had with Disney and Lucasfilm on the creation of your fan series Vader, but I'm very glad that it was able to be sorted out and I'm looking forward to your next installment. My questions begin with why do you enjoy Star Wars? Do you have other things you enjoy as much or more? Why did you feel the need to add more backstory to Vader and the time between Revenge of the Sith and Rogue One? Do you believe that Vader would have been able to destroy Darth Sidious? Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, why did Disney cut off all novelizations, comics, books, and games from Star Wars Legends? Again, thank you so much for taking the time to read my letter, and I would love to have a response by February 15th <laughs> at latest. I'm sorry, man. You know, this just got to me now. Um... And I, I, I guess I held a bunch of, I, so I guess it's longer than three weeks. Uh, and I held a bunch of a mail to open it. And then I figured, you know, yesterday, I'm like, well, it's my birthday today. So I might as well just, you know, send some stuff. Uh, or open some stuff today. Might as well, right? Um, at the latest, that way I can inc incorporate it into my project. Feel free to contact me via phone or email. May the force be with you. Sincerely, Oren. Thank you, Oren. Uh, to answer your questions, let's go one by one first. So, <clears throat> my questions begin with: Why did you enjoy? Why do you enjoy Star Wars? Well, Star Wars for me was something you know that I, I uh, started watching with my dad when I was a little kid, and uh, my mom's a big fan of it. My dad, my dad's a fan of it, and of course, I'm a big fan of it. And I didn't have many friends growing up, so. Um, you know, I was that kid that would rush home to watch Star Wars movies or uh, go on Star Wars forums online and, you know, talk to people online because that's really kind of the only friends I had. So for me, it's it's always been more than just... And the fact that it's a beautiful story and it's like an escape and uh, there's so many life lessons in there and really heroism and, and, you know, your decisions basically lead you down. I'm going to show you guys this. This is a very fitting. So this right here is something I got from Vancouver Fan Expo, and basically it just shows uh, that your choices in life always have a reflection. And what you do will always have an outcome, you know, wherever it leads to. So you never know where it goes, but you gotta be aware of what you do in life because it could always end up where you don't want it to. And it's like each choice you make in life kind of will take you that step closer to you know, good or bad, or, you know, what you want or what you don't want. So you got to be careful with that one, that first step. Someone says, can you repost this video after? This video is going to be on the channel. Uh, like live streams don't get deleted. They just stay on the channel. So, um, so that's why, that's one reason why I enjoy Star Wars. Why did you feel the need to add more backstory to the Vader, to Vader and the time between Revenge of the Sith and Rogue One? Because Vader you know, we left him as Anakin, this like confused being, and he turned into this mechanical machine as Vader. And then we see him in Rogue One, where he's like this calculating, just monster. He's he's just epic. He's just he kills people, and he's just. But it's like, what happens in that transitionary time? Like, does he not care about Padme? Does he, and we only see that through the comics. But if we see it in the movies, well, it's just it's just more fun. Um, do you believe that Vader would be able to destroy Darth Sidious had he not? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Even George Lucas said himself he could destroy uh, Sidious. And Vader was 80% as strong as Sidious, even after all of that. So, um, which order, Sith or Jedi, do you most assume yourself to be a part of? I would, well, 
Jedi, but I would be more like Qui Gon or Count Dooku or Anakin. Well, Anakin was just he just it's another video for another time. Anakin did a lot of things that he shouldn't have. Uh, why did Disney cut off all novelizations, books, comic, uh, comics, books, and well, because they want to do their own thing. So, um, you can't make much money if you already have all of the all the comics and books and stuff made. You 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 got you remake them. So they they want to make their own story. So that's what they're doing. What the heck is this? Is this spam? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the heck this is. We would like to remind you that it's tax season, and our team at... I'm not giving them a shout-out. Is at your service? I don't know who the heck you are, so don't spam me. Um, Next one. I can't wait to open these boxes. I hope you guys are still going to be here. Oh, jeez. Wow, yeah, super chat. Sorry. Okay. All right. Sorry. Uh, let's let's get to it. Let's see. All right. Super chat time. Uh, well, we missed a lot. Okay. <laughs> Where did I leave off last? Can someone remind me? Okay. We left off at Nevin, who became a new member. Um, thank you for the super chats, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, by the way, if you want merch, uh, use the code B-Day. You get 10% off. And, uh, of course, everything goes towards um, the, the channel So and all the stuff I want to do. Happy birthday. Love the channel. Did you see? F okay, we did, we did that one. Hank and the Gavin Show with 5 bucks says, I've been trying to start a theory YouTube channel. I've planned my first vid on a Fortnite theory. <laughs> My first vid will cost $70 to make. Why would it cost $70 to make? So when you're starting out on YouTube, you never want to um, spend money that you don't have. Like I started out on like this old phone I had. It was a it was a 5, it was an iPhone 5, I think. And all I did was just sound recordings with my voice and uh, then I like I put it into I think it was iMovie or something like that and put a bunch of clips together. <laughs> That was it. Like that was all, and that uh, that's where it started, man. So um, I would say you don't need you don't need to spend money to make a, a theory video. Um, should be free. So, um, but as for advice on growing your channel, just be genuine, just be real, and uh, don't be in it for the views because the views will come eventually if people like you. So um, just be you, and if people don't like you, then crappy person I don't know no, no just 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 keep hammering away at it it's not as easy as a lot of people think but it's also not as hard as a lot of people would think actually it's really hard I'm not who am I kidding Stannis Bar Stannis Baratheon uh with 549 euros your love and dedication of the fans and Star Wars is un unparalleled love you man your films may not be canon to Disney but it's always canon to us thank you I appreciate that um Jay Workman 99 with two Pound says, sorry about my handwriting, my dude. <laughs> Type it next time. Thanks, bro. Um, Ron Blakenship with two bucks says, apparently YouTube Red gives me free super chats. Really? That's cool. I have YouTube Red as well for Cobra Kai. By the way, Cobra Kai channel, theory, Cobra Kai theory. Link in the description. Go check it out. Um, it's like one of my like six channels. Hello there. Can't wait for Vader 2, says Nevin. Oh, Nevin just became a new member. Thank you. I learned so much from you and hope the best for you. May the force be with you always. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. The Price is Right to review uh, with two bucks says Keanu Reeves as Darth Revan. Yes, I would love to see that. Also, $10 super chat. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. That $10 super chatted. Oh, I guess above. Above. So now $12 or maybe $8 before. Angry Liquid is a new member. Uh, Chase M. Prayers for all. No need for apologies. Love you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. And I just lost where I was. Okay, there we go. Uh, J Workman 99 with 10 pounds. A month ago on the 18th of February, he said he sadly did lose. He sadly did lose his battle. It's still quite raw, but you have helped me keep smiling through it. Also, sorry for making you cry. I didn't mean to. 
Uh, I love you, man. Can, guys, uh, he's here, so just... Let's just get a, I don't know, an F in the chat, I guess. My condolences to you and, uh, and to your family. And uh, I'm... I'm happy I can play some sort of role, positive role in, in your life somewhere, even tis but a, but a pinch of salt. Um, next, Star Wars playlist, dude, two bucks. Next, before I start crying again, I guess I get a free $2 super chat, so here you go. <laughs> okay, cool. That's sweet. I didn't know YouTube Red does that. Cable 10, um, happy birthday. Thank you, man. Shelby, a dollar. Gavin. I just lost my place again. Gavin Steele with five bucks. Happy birthday, Swole Wars Theory. <laughs> Appreciate all you do, man. I'll be 21 in three weeks. What should I do to celebrate? May the force just hang out with friends. You know, when I was younger, I I, I thought I had to like go out and like like drink beer and uh, you know go party and stuff, which was fun. But like you eventually get over it, and it's like eh, it's not. So now, like tonight, I'm gonna go see I think uh, a movie with a couple of my buddies. Maybe get some dinner. That's about it. So if you guys want to check out my Instagram stories, feel free. Uh, Shelby with a dollar. Thank you. Nicholas Thompson with 1399. Happy birthday from Canada. I love all your content and your passion for the lore. I love, think it's funny that you make better Star Wars than Star Wars. Well, I don't know about that, but thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy my content and I uh, appreciate you supporting me. Um, hope to make episode two. Nate Schwartz with five bucks. I love all your work. Love the fan film. I appreciate everything you do. It makes me look smart when I elaborate on Star Wars discussions. Thanks, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad I could make your uh, make your discussions a little better and make you look smart. Drunk on the Moon with five bones says, I literally never donate, but dude, you are one of the fewest, most humble public figures. Man, I love watching your videos. May the force be with you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think if you can just, you know, I, I see a lot of YouTubers just get caught up in, um, whatever the fame or the money or the whatever, we're just people at the end of the day, like all of us, you know, you guys commenting and me, like there's no difference. We're just friends. We're just, especially, you know, Star Wars nerds, like we just enjoy this escape. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. You know, what is reality at the end of the day? Is it what the government and all these people are forcing us to see, or is it what we want it to be? So I choose a different reality. Happy birthday, my dude. Keep up the great work, says James. Thank you with five bucks. JL donates $2. $2. I love you, man. Happy birthday. Thank you, man. And Dead Eye is a new member. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. So uh, keep the super chats coming. You know where it's going. It's going to go to the channel. And I will get to reading this. Look at that, baby. Is that supposed to be me? Hey, he drew, <laughs> he drew me. I think my legs are a bit bigger than that. I, I have really small calves, but I think you know my thighs are a little bigger than that. No, uh, looking like a like an upside down triangle. But thank you, bro. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, dear Star Wars Theory, hi, Mister Theory. Thank you for all the great videos and the fan film. I am sorry about your grandpa. I think he was a great no. Thank you, man. Um, uh, all your videos made me made me happier and happier. Even when my grandma passed away in 2018, does that say? I felt happier. I wish we get to learn what your name is. And on the back, you can see a drawing. <laughs> a drawing on the back. Thank you for everything. Best of luck. Isa. Isa. Well, thank you, Isa. I'm going to, you guys want to, you guys want to see this? So this is now gonna, my new avatar. That's what I look like. Um, I also have a red lightsaber. I think it's accurate, don't you think? I think I think it looks good. I think I'm looking good. I'm looking fresh. Is that this one? It was. Okay. What should we open, guys? We're 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 closing in, boys. We got only a few more letters left, and then we get the big boxes. So, if you're still here from the beginning, aye aye, Captain. Do we got new super chats? I think we do. We gotta read these. Okay. Um, Oakley Tiger with five dollars, but he doesn't say anything. Uh, Vig Vegetable with twenty bucks. Happy birthday, sir! I stumbled across your channel when you were at hundred k. Star Wars is my favorite topic. I'm glad to have you repping the Star Wars fans on YouTube. Um, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, 
Jay Workman 99. Uh, thank you, bro. I appreciate you. One last super chat for your birthday. Love you and your work, bro. Keep it up. And yes, I will type <laughs> any future letters instead of handwrite them. You know what? I think the handwriting got me. It was just so beautiful, you know. Um, thank you, man. I appreciate the super chat as well. And uh, I love you, bro. Stay strong. 97 Buckeye Nut with two bucks. Happy birthday. My birthday is tomorrow. Hey, happy birthday, dude. Robbie Peppers Jr. with $2 says, can't wait for episode two. Ethan Morrison with 279 says, did you see John Favreau's new Instagram pic? No. Should I? What What is the picture? I'm going to pull it up right now. Uh... Oh, voicing IG80. Oh, wait, no, that's that's a comment. <laughs> yeah, dude, it seems like someone is actually voicing IG88. Check this out. That's really cool. That's sweet that we actually get to see IG88 in action in like, you know, not a film, but I guess I guess the show. So. That's going to be really good. 39 minutes ago. Very cool. I'm going to type. Guys, go and, uh, go and comment under my comment so I know you're there. Okay. Where are we going? $100 from Jedi Slayer. Vader 2 needs to happen. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Uh, it's definitely going towards the channel. Uh, struggle J Genji with a dollar. Thank you, struggle J Genji. I think this letter is from the states. I don't. Oh, it's gonna be a t oh, it's gonna be a tough one to read. Ooh, <laughs> I got my work cut out for me in this video. Dear Star Wars Theory, hello, my name is Alex something. I been a big fan of your channel for a while. I love your what if story theories stories. And therefore, for future movies. You did a great job with the Darth Vader fan film. There was no there was so much creativity. There was not much creative there was so much creativity and story behind it that had been lacking in the ep in the episodic films. I enjoyed Solo and I learned and I loved Rogue One, but the main films haven't done too well in terms of the mythology and never something. Anyways, I loved your movie and I hope your future projects are a successful are, are successful. I really wanted to help in the first film, but you have <laughs> actually inspired me to create my own Star Wars movie. The timeline is century and uh, thousands of years after A New Hope. Oh, that'd be cool. Thank you for improving me to do this inspire me to do this and thank you for being a youtuber figure in the star wars community there's not much arguing going on that there's so much arguing going on that it's very refreshing to hear large I'm just going to read what I think it says. The large channel to the community, to bring the community together. On a side note, I hope something start focusing on Old Republic. Ah, okay. Disney Lucasfilm starts focusing on the Old Republic stuff more. Although I love the something Skywalker saga standing in there one time eternity, I feel Mm, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'd 
droid attack on the mother... Thank you, Alex. Thank you very much. Uh, I loved your letter. It's... Uh, to, to end it, your channel continues to be the successful and a positive figure in the community. Thank you, man. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, P.S. This letter comes with a... I don't know what that says. Comes with a something. What does it come with? Does it come with glasses? Because that's what I need to read this. Come on. The decoder? Why do you, you got some like old English handwriting, man? Like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I wanted to read your letter and not make a mess of it. With a... Thank you, Alex. Appreciate that. Next, next letter. Um. Um, happy birthday and may the force be with you. Where did you get your phone case? Oh, my phone case? I got it from uh, Disneyland. Huh. <laughs> Which is uh, pretty cool. Um, I got some more super chats going on here, I think. Uh, where did you get your phone case from, Robbie? Yeah, I got it from, from Disneyland. And it actually says uh, Toos at the bottom in Orbesh. Happy birthday and may the force be with you. Says Joey. Thanks, man. Love your videos since you started. Thanks, Apocalyptic Hoff. And uh, they all donate a couple bucks. Uh, Thomas Parkin. I think you should do a Versus series. I've been thinking about a... thinking about Darth Bane versus Mace Windu. You should check it out. That'd be cool. Uh, Antoine Bandel has great vids. Okay, cool. I'll check it out, man. Thanks. With six ninety dollars $200 from Jedi Slayer. Jedi Slayer, didn't you donate 100 bucks just a minute ago? Thank you, man. Um... Vegetable with 20 bucks. Here's 20 more for pronouncing my name correctly. Good on you. What's your favorite Star Wars moment in the films? I really like the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. The story. Like how he just like turns to him. Um, that was definitely one of my favorite parts. And then of course I would have to say like when Yoda was training Luke. Or when Luke was actually trying. Like he was finding out that Yoda is actually Yoda. I felt like that scene was really cozy and it was really nice. Uh, and then, of course, when, you know, Darth Vader's redemption, when uh, Luke's pulling the helmet off of him, that's also another favorite. And then also, of course, when the celebration scene at the very end with the Ewoks and the music, that's uh, when I first saw that when I was a kid, it, it, it brought me to tears, which I guess isn't saying much because I cried like a little baby in this one. But um, Progism, Prog, Progism with four dollars says, hello there, happy birthday. Thank you, man. And Red red rose rose um happy birthday the high quality of your fan film was satisfying to see keep up your interesting work and fun videos thanks nikita with five bucks has any luck with any more sponsors would you consider the casino sponsors actually yeah a sponsor did reach out and i don't know if i'm allowed to talk about this so i'm just not going to but yeah <laughs> thank you uh, the Stormtrooper TK421 says, Fanfic, what if Finn was a resistance trooper instead of Stormtrooper when he defected? Mm, huge fan of Star Wars. And actually, you know, I have a theory on Finn. I don't think he's... I think he was... I think his memory was wiped. Because remember in The Force Awakens where he's just like... It j it just looks like a dream to him. Like, he's just, like, coming to... He's like, he's like oh, like, where am I? Like, what am I doing? Like... It just seemed kind of weird. Like there's, there's maybe I feel like there's maybe some more to him. I don't know, but that's interesting fan fiction I could get to. Sith Lord with five bucks says, "Happy birthday, Lord Deuce. Been a fan for a while. Awesome fan film and good luck with episode two. Keep up with the impeccable work. Thank you, man. Brandon Dangerfield with fifty bucks. It's very generous. Thank you. By the way, guys, thank you for your super chats. Hey, Star Wars Theory. First of all, happy birthday. Love your channel. Long time watcher. Thank you. Uh, recent subscriber." Absolutely enjoyed Shards of the Past. Looking forward to part two and the future of your channel. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I think the channel is just going to keep going up and up. Right now is obviously a very slow time in Star Wars, but I think things are just going to get better and better and better, especially with all the stuff coming out. So right now is pretty much, um, if you're a Star Wars YouTuber watching this one, you're one of the smaller ones, just don't worry. Like, things will pick up. Um, I, this is the slowest time in Star Wars right now. So, you know, it's if you think about it, it's like two years without really any Star Wars content. So um, things are just going to boom, boom away uh, in 2019, later 2019. Sinozier Anthem with five bucks says, will Luke come back to life? And what cameos do you think we will see in nine? I think we'll see Luke, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Yoda, 
at least I hope. So, yeah. And of course, Lando. Uh, Vegetable with 10 bucks again. I'm glad to hear you say the Plagueis and Yoda scene. Mine's without a doubt where Han, when Han flies in at the end of A New Hope and still gives me goosebumps. That's a good scene too. Um, there's a lot of really like good moments in Star Wars. And it's a tough question when people are like, oh, what's your favorite scene? Because it's like, well, all of it. So, next letter. What the heck, man? Canadian money. Ten bucks. Thanks, dude. Now, this is a super chat, right? <laughs> this is a super chat that YouTube can't collect 30% of. That's very nice of you. By the way, guys, this is what uh, Canadian money looks like. This is just a, a $5 bill. Um, yeah, they're, they're colored. This is actually an older one, and now they are more so like plastic. I have a $10 bill sitting in my... Actually, I'm going to show you the $10 bill. It's pretty cool. So for those who don't know what Canadian money looks like, it's, it's colored. So that's pretty cool. And it's like, uh, yeah. So this one's paper, so it rips. But now, like, you can't, you can't rip Canadian money anymore, which is cool. And apparently it's antibacterial. I don't know how they did that, but what ifs? Um, I loved your work on Shards of the Past. I was honestly very impressed. You did not disappoint, which is often not true of others. I've watched it several times now, and it never ceases to be amazing. You've truly made something special. I'm in university right now, so I can't afford much, but I thought I could at least buy a ticket since you have definitely earned it. I watch your videos every day, and they continue to be a highlight of the day. It is truly impressive that you are able to offer both quality and quantity, which most people can't. So keep up the good work, and I hope this helps with episode two. Thank you, Tarver. I really appreciate that. Um... Thank you for your money. I'm going to put it towards episode two, of course. Um, everything goes towards episode two. So I'm going to get to this in another video, actually. So, yeah, um, specifically about episode two funding because there's some stuff I got to say about it. So, um, But for now, pretty much we're back to square one. So, yeah. Um... 777 Eichel Studios again with $2. He says, please follow 777 Eichel underscore 24. So guys, go follow him. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it's it's age appropriate. I'm sure it is. Uh, $2 from unknown and message retracted. Hmm. Darth Squidward with five bucks says, in episode six, Return of the Jedi, what if the rebel, what if the rebels, I guess, never being except in the Ewoks tribute. What I mean is if the Ewoks never helped the rebels. Uh, that's actually a really good thought. The Ewoks actually played such a fundamental part in episode six. And if it wasn't for Leia, then, or rather C-3PO, then I don't think it would have played out the way it did. Because, you know, the stormtroopers, they didn't expect them to just come out of nowhere and overtake them. And, you know, these are warriors in the forest that have been there for, you know, for God knows how long. And they've mastered war in their own way. And as you saw, you know, the stormtroopers weren't ready for that. They were just ready for blaster fire or something like that. So that would have changed a lot for sure. Nathan T with 10 bucks says, my daughter was born this morning. Hey, congratulations. That's a great, that's a, that's awesome. So it's her birthday today, too. You, too, have the same birthday. Love your channel. Been subbed almost the whole journey. Happy birthday, man. You're awesome. Hey, thank you, dude. And congratulations. Uh, I'm happy she's healthy, I hope, obviously. And uh, may the force be with you. And, uh, yeah, introduce her to Star Wars, man. That's that's cool. Ooh, some bright yellow. What is this drawing? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. He says, "Do it." That's that's awesome. 
Uh, hey, Star Wars Theory, I love your videos and your channel. I can't wait for episode two to come out. I've always been a huge Star Wars fan, and sometimes other people make fun of me for it. Yeah, you know, they did that to me too, but who's laughing now? So, But that never brings me down. Also, would you like to see the Yuzon Vong return to canon? Anyway, could you say do it in your Palpatine voice? Do it. <coughs> wait. Do it. Um, I would definitely like to see the Yuzon Vong come back to canon, uh, or at least in the films, I mean. And I think that's actually what the i think that's what ryan johnson's trilogy is going to be about i have an idea i mean i guess that would be a really cool thing because he's making something totally out of the universe that we know in star wars so that would make a lot of sense now the use on vong basically are these alien it's this alien race that is resistant to the force and they just wipe out people now, i don't even mean people i just mean like generations of people and races and things they just take over worlds and uh the force doesn't work on them so they're impervious to the force and they're they're really cool they're really nasty looking so uh, that's definitely i would love to see the yuzong bong uh, what was your other question do you have another question yeah oh yeah as for people making fun of you for like in star wars you know what man that's just their insecurity and at the end of the day like star wars is just it's a cool story like it's an awesome story where you can connect with and you can see yourself as this hero or you can see yourself as a villain if whatever you want to be and that's the beauty of it so don't let anyone rule your life because they say something who are they you know there will be people who will always say you can't do this or you shouldn't do this or you're a nerd or make fun of you i got made fun of my entire life in school and um you know what <laughs> it actually just made me go right back further and deeper into star wars so uh hey uh, everything has a interesting way of working out. So obviously I was meant to do this. And a lot of people actually ask like, why do you go to the gym and stuff? It's like, well, that was that's also another reason. It's like, either you get made fun of and you like you curl up and you like want it, you know. I just didn't want to be a weakling. I didn't want to stand up for myself, and it worked. Hello there, I have watched many of your episode 9 theory videos and I would like to offer my opinion on the subject. I think your prediction of Anakin and Kylo being opposite is spot on, but I do not believe that Kylo will fully turn to the light side. I think that there very, mel very, very well may be some chemistry between them, but I don't think that we will see any Raylo moments on the big screen. From what I have seen in leaked photos leads me to believe that Resistance is on the run. I believe that we... That what we just saw in The Last Jedi, the rebels constantly fleeing, is what we will see in Episode Nine film. Yeah, probably. At the end of the Star Wars Battlefront II storyline, Zay and Shriv jump into hyperspace towards the Unknown Regions in order to find the allies of the Resistance, where, which were also referenced in The Last Jedi. I believe that we may see some unknown faction help the Resistance fight back against the First Order. If you look up the cast for Episode Nine. Uh, there's a few male actors whose roles are not listed. I believe that Boba Fett may make an appearance, possibly, and the leader of the Mandalore or Mandalorian, which is the official title. I think that Rose Tico's role in the plot may be diminished. Personally, I thought that Rose Tico was a fine character, except for the Canto Bite scene. We must also remember that the child who we saw use the Force to make a broomstick into his hand, to move, to, to move a broomstick into his hand at the end of The Last Jedi. We, he may have some role like a Padawan's of Rey's, or Kylo in a Darth Vader Starkiller situation. Maybe. Now, what role Lando will play in the film, I'm uncertain. I just hope he doesn't die. And due to the tragic passing of Carrie Fisher, I think that they won't just say, oh, she's dead, like Akbar. Instead, I think she will have a small role due to the cost played by a CGI character. Anyways, these are my fan theories. I hope you found them enjoyable, and feel free to use them in a video if you deem them worthy. If you have any questions, email me. May the Force be with you, a loyal fan. Thank you, man. Um, or girl. No name. No, um, never know. Uh, as for Carrie Fisher, they're going to use unused footage from Episode 7 and 8, so she's going to be in the film. So that'll be cool. Um, theories, well, I can go on those forever. So... But I, I think it'll be cool. I hope it'll be cool. I mean, I'm not going to be here and be like, yeah, episode nine's going to suck. <laughs> no, man. Like, I, I want it to be as cool as ever because I'm a Star Wars fan. So I'm not here to be a hater. Easy to be pessimistic. What? There's a... You send me an envelope and an... Be... Courtois, 
Oh, ben, oh, hmm. That's his name, Ben Courtois. But he he put it inside of the. Anyways, uh, letter. Oh, do we have more super chats? Uh, Dowu two bucks says, "What do you want to see in Return of the Clone Wars?" I want to see them go into Order sixty six. I think it'd be sweet. Uh, Tristan Remley with five bucks can't contribute much, but I guess it's something. Can't wait to see part two. Just introduced my GF to Star Wars, and she loves it. May the force be with you. Thank you, and I hope she likes it too. Segmented gaming ten dollars. Speaking of characters resuming returning, personally, I'd want Revan or Galen Merrick. Anyways, I've been subbed since basically the beginning. Happy birthday and keep up. Thanks for the birthday wishes. Thanks for the super chat. And uh, I think Galen Merrick would be cool, but I just think he's like overpowered. Hello, Star Wars Theory. My name is Ben. I'm 17. I think it's cool you got your P.O. box. I didn't think any person with a Star Wars channel would get a P.O. box. I like your videos. Could you please make a Star Wars video about the... The... Nelvon? Also, could you please write back to me? I was just asking. I have to say two more things to say keep up the good work and have a nice day. Thanks, Ben. Appreciate it, man. Uh, what was your question? Your question was, could you please make a start? Of your, okay, sure. Also, could you please write back to me? Well, I can, I can, I can talk to you back here. So thank you, Ben. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, it's so crazy you have a P.O. box. So it's like, if you guys didn't notice, I like genuinely like you guys. So I, I like hearing from you. Um, I like, you know, tangible stuff where I can like read stuff and, and you know, touch the things that you make me. Stupid spammers, man. Like, screw off. I'm gonna message them and be like, why are you sending crap to my mailbox? If they only knew I could order 66 of them right now, their entire social media. Of course, with great power comes great responsibility. Hey, Star Wars Theory. Ever since day one, my brothers and I had been super excited for Vader. The night it came out, we were blown away. It is honestly the best fun f fan film I have ever seen, and I now consider it canon. Could one of your future projects be a Han Solo fan film with Anthony Ingruber? Oh, that'd be cool. Um, there's a Han Solo fan film by Jamie Costa, and it was very good. We got some more super chats here. I'm gonna I'm gonna read them in a sec. Uh, I wanted to. I wanted you to know that, by the way, we got these boxes coming up soon. I wanted you to know that the day you announced that Disney had given you back your film, it was an answer to prayer. My prayers, my prayer. I felt so bad the day you had it taken, I decided to bring it to God in prayer. You worked so hard and put so much passion into it, and then it was ultimately just taken from you. Then you got it back. God is good, man, and the answer and he answers prayers. I truly believe he played a big part in giving you back your film. I just wanted to share. Yeah, um, God's name in this situation is also Lucasfilm. So <laughs> thank you, Lucasfilm, for doing that um, between Warner Chapel and uh, all the other companies that were involved. Looking forward to episode two. Hope all is going well. If you wanted to talk, feel free to text this number. May the force be with you, your friend Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate that. And uh, God be with you. Thank you, man. God bless you. All right, Super Chats, right. Uh, I got to scroll up. Open-minded movie man. Star Wars Theory. Happy birthday. Always enjoyed the possible what-if theories that you discuss in your videos and other content. All the best, man. Thank you, man. And thanks for the five bucks. Leo TV with two bucks says, what if Obi-Wan never said hello there? Well, then I wouldn't be wearing this hat. <laughs> uh, David S. Don't Break My Heart, Episode 9. Yeah, please don't. Whoa. Seven bucks, dude. Thank you. Appreciate that. You guys are sending me cash. I mean, this is it's a great birthday. It really is a birthday. And a Tops Battlefront Magma Trooper. Thank you. And a letter. Uh... David S. Yeah, I hope I hope episode nine is gonna be good. Gun fanatics with two bucks, two dollars make you holla. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Um, 
Paul Profit with two bucks. Kale Solfage to Euros, episode nine, res Resurgence of the Ragul Plague. Joel Dang with five bucks. Hey, Star Wars Theory, I got a good fan fiction. What if Mace Windu survives to train Luke? That'd be cool. Because uh, then Luke would use a purple. I think I did that. I think I did that. I, I, I remember doing that one, or at least writing it. Prescott25 with 10 bucks. Happy birthday and best of luck on making episode two. Love your channel. May the force be with you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, Star Wars Theory. Just wanted to say thank you for all the amazing content that you give us every single day. And I always look forward to your videos. Hope this little bit helps. Star Wars Jedi Knight 1989, a.k.a. Ryan. And I'm not going to read your last name. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. And thanks for the seven bones. That's like, I think that's like 10 bucks Canadian or something like that. So thank you. The last letter before we open the boxes. Two boxes and then we're done with the live stream. So uh, guys, answer, ask your questions now. Because um, it looks like it's coming to an end. One million Republic credits. <laughs> it's really cool. It's like, a, it's like a fake money with Vader. That's really sweet. I really like that. I'm going to show you guys in a, in a minute once I read this. Oh! Look at this. I hate sand, but I like you. Thank you, man. Or actually, girl. It's a, it's a girl. Star Wars Theory. Thank you for always bringing... It's always the girls who make like the most uh, creative stuff, I find. that uh, I've only done two unboxings, but anyways. Thank you for always brightening my day. I have followed... There was also a girl that came to the Vancouver Fan Expo... And she drew me this like nice picture of Darth Nihilus, and it was really sweet. Thank you for always brightening my day. I have followed you since day one. Hope to be a part of any future project. I'm a huge fan, and I'm so proud of you. Happy Valentine's Day. May the 4th. This, must be, this is old, then. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too, Natalie. Thank you so much. I'm, I love this. This is, this is really cool. And I love this, too. You guys, check it out. Okay. Well, everyone, we have finally made it to the boxes. I am excited for this moment because I've been keeping these for a very long time. So, Yoda, you're going to have to go. Sorry, man. It's actually really heavy. All right. Let's get on with this. So we got some more super chats. Um, Jax five with five bucks says happy birthday, man. Do you think Palpatine will be in episode nine? That'd be really cool. I hope so. This one looks quite interesting. Guys, if you're still here, I hope it's worth it. I hope it's not like a thermal detonator or something like that. Or anthrax. <laughs> YouTuber dead from fan mail unboxing. This? Wow. Dude, this is like a very nice letter. Gold. Oh, wow, another thing. I have no idea what this is, but the wrapping is very, very nice. They even lined the inside of the box. Where is this from? From Lizette. Uh, I actually don't know where this is from. I think it's from the States. Yeah, it's from the States. All right, let's open the letter first. This is really, really nice. Like, look, look at this. This 
This is probably the nicest looking letter I've ever gotten. Wow, look at this. It's like gold paper on the inside. So let's read it. Dear Star Wars Theory, it's good to know that Star Wars will always be kept alive as long as genuine people like you are around to bring us fans hope when we begin to think our favorite franchise is going downhill. Thank you so much for always shining, sharing the love, dedication, and passion with us the fandom both on YouTube and especially with your incredible work that Vader fan film has been. I do imagine that it's been a lot of hard work with an unstoppable de determination that you have taken this huge step forward in this amazing project and that it had must have been tough with many hardships that also had come along with. Yeah. But nothing worth doing in life is ever easy and the best achievements can only be reached with the greatest of efforts and even sacrifices. So keep it up, keep improving, keep believing, keep going forth, and no matter the adversity, always stay strong, my friend. Here I've sent you a token of my admiration of your work on YouTube and your fan film, but also for the amazing human being you truly are. These are handmade presents, which include a drawing and a special item. I hope you like them. May the force be with you, always. Yours truly, Lizelle, aka Heron Sage underscore on Instagram. I'm going to check you out on Instagram after this. This is, you know, like in those movies where they're like opening like some relic or something like that, like, and like the music is going on. Like I feel like I'm in that moment right now. So let's open, which one, which should we open first? This one or maybe this one. I'm going to get to the super chats. And, okay. Actually, actually let's, let's read the super chat. Um, Where did I, I always forget where I last left off. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Uh, David Belzer, do a fan theory if Padme succeeded in saving Shmi Skywalker. Could do that. Travis Leap with five bucks says, you're an amazing, your amazing fan film came out just hours before my birthday. I watched it 18 times in less than three days. Best birthday present to date. Thanks, Star Wars Theory. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Vegetable with 10 bucks. Do you have an actor to play Mace Windu? You should have your agent try and reach out to Sam Jackson. I think he would love to do it. I don't have an agent. It's just me. Um, but I guess we could have like the producer try to... Re I don't think anyone who ever played in any Star Wars movie can actually legally be in a fan film because then it gives you know that stamp of approval and uh, that's not... It's a no-no. Um, I don't have an actor to play Mace Windu as of yet. Uh, I've met a few that are candidates, but we haven't chosen anyone. Angelo, and also thanks for the 10 bucks. Angelo Fiore with $15 says, Happy birthday, Star Wars Theory. Love your work and can't wait for episode two. I think the Order of Revan or Order of Ren is the same order. Thoughts? It could be. And the fact that, you know, Luke is holding that Crusader pendant for the Sith crystal uh, around his neck is also very interesting. So it might be. Do you have the high ground? Maybe. Jake Boy, uh, and that was from Chaos Spartan. Jake Boy with $5 says, How well would modern firearms work against Vader and Storm <laughs> and Stormtroopers keep on working? They would not work. <laughs> um, vegetable. Vichst Again, by the way, you should do a fan meetup at Disney for the grand opening of Galaxy's Edge. Yes! I would love to do that. So, yeah, more on that coming. Hal Lair. Hey, Hal! been a while man what's up my man happy birthday sorry i couldn't send you anything but shout out from the marine corps uh may the force be with you may the force bring you many gifts and an excellent episode to yeet thank you hal i appreciate you man it's been a while i miss you glad you're good travis leap with a dollar millennium sage with 10 bucks a little something to help pay for episode two death to the I can't say that here. Uh, thank you for your support uh jake boy 20 and happy birthday he also says with two bucks Chaos Spartan again. Happy birthday. Shout out to Dan Tuin. Shout out for Dan Tuin, a.k.a. North Dakota. Hey, shout out North Dakota. Brian. I've never been there, actually. Brian with five bucks. Hey, who's your favorite actor? Big fan. Keep up the good work. My favorite actor? I've got a few. Um, I really like Daniel Craig. Uh, 
I like Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's probably my favorite. Sean Connery. Russell Crowe and Gladiator. Um, I don't know I'm forgetting someone. I'm forgetting someone. Mike Myers. Um, okay. Holy crap. Like, how... Like, look how intricate this is. This is insane. Like, there's, like, red velvet or fur or something on the inside. And there's, like, a sash. Like, what the heck? Like, what the heck? This was definitely the right day to open this. That's for sure. I can tell you like making things. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? Oh my god. Guys. Oh wait, I don't think I'm supposed to open this. But, I want to. I might break it if I open it, but I really want to. <laughs> Should I open it? I don't want to break it. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. No, I gotta open this, man. I gotta open this. I just have to. This is freaking cool. Oh, mm -hmm. stupid. And you open it and it says, hello there. Wow, like this is, whoa. This is freaking cool. What the heck? Check this out, guys. Suitless Vader. That is cool. That is really cool. Look at the lightsaber. Like, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it fell. <laughs> this is like really nice. This is really cool. I'm blown away by this. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's a level of detail. Like the mask, everything. Wow, this deserves a, a big follow on the IG. I gotta do that right now. Actually, I'm, I'm doing it at the end, so I don't bore you guys. Um, but like, even, like, look at the box. Like, it's just like this, like, that's really nice. That is really, that's really cool. Um, and then this, I don't know what this is. This must be the drawing that she mentioned. Holy crap. What the heck, man? Dude, this is... This is me. Like... This is really, really unbelievable. You even got the chair. You even got my chair right. I think we need to work together. I think you, 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 I think you and I need to work together. This is really, really cool. I am blown away by this. I'm going to post this on Instagram. I'm going to frame it and put it on my wall. This is like, this is so sweet. Guys, blown away. Like, I know you can't see it, but 
this is thank you so much i really appreciate this uh guys you know go check her out on instagram at heron sage underscore h-e-r-o-n-s-a-g-e -E underscore her name is lizelle or lizette i think it's lizette where's it lizelle I don't know because she did like a swirly little thing on the on the L's, so I'm kind of confused. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. I've never received such a um, such a nice gift before. This is by far the nicest gift I've ever received. So much time was put into this, and uh, it is really beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going to be posting that and uh, contacting you because I want to work with you. So um, very talented. Definitely could use you for uh, my the animations that I want to make. So, thank you. It's very cool. Very very cool. And finally, the final parcel. Uh, let's see what's inside, guys. Oh, I guess we got some some super chats. Um, Creepiest Poppy with 250 says, I know this isn't much, but I wanted to say hello there. Hello there, General Kenobi. Uh, Zach Tripp with five bucks says, Happy birthday, Star Wars Theory. Wishing you luck on all your future works. Excuse me. Also, a quick shout out to our guy, Jack. Hope you're doing all right. Hey, shout out to Jack. I'm sure he's doing all right. I just talked to him. <laughs> I'm still blown away by that, man. Like, that's crazy. But I better focus here before I cut my leg off. Words are the wise when you're trying to slice stuff. Never try to do it like towards you because you just obvious, obvious reason why. All right, what do we got? Oh, it's a framed picture. Oh, cool, man. Look at this. Look at that. That's drawn. That's hand drawn. Oh, I don't want to break. Oh, there's a letter. It says. Uh, Sky Fu with a dollar, Raj uh, H with two bucks. Hello there, favorite lights for combat form, probably form seven or form five. Uh, creepiest Poppy with two bucks. Happy birthday, Star, Star Wars Theory. Best wishes for episode two. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. The last letter, guys. Okay. I just wanted to thank you for all that you do. I enjoy watching each and every one of your videos. I loved Vader Shards of the Past. I can tell how passionate you are for this character and the franchise in its whole. I love the efforts you went to in order to bring your story for Vader to life. I'm an amateur artist and draw where, when I can in my free time. I did this piece a while back, originally in colored pencil, and then went through and did it digitally. And it's the first piece of artwork I've done in my 10 plus years of drawing. I've had printed up, and I thought it was only fitting to send you a copy of it. I hope you enjoy it and look forward to see what else is in store on your channel. May the force be with you. P.S. Absolutely love the second Vader, Shards of the Past poster. It's an incredible design, and I always love artwork that depicts, depicts the tragic, broken, and scared Anakin underneath that menacing suit. Sincerely, Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. Really appreciate your time, taking the time to draw this and make this for me. I'm going to hang it on my wall. And, uh, guys, I'm, I'm, you know, thank you so much. If there's anyone here who has been been here from the beginning of the live stream i uh, really appreciate you thank you for watching and being part of this it was 
obviously a very interesting live stream. It was uh, emotional. We went through some some ups, some downs, and uh, I think we all bonded at the end of it. Uh, for those of you who are watching this, just like recorded, like not as a live stream, uh, due to whatever your your uh, time schedule or whatever. Um, welcome and thank you, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, just know that I wouldn't be here without you guys, and um, I love you all. You know, I I say it all the time, and some people might be like, "Oh, he's just saying that." It's like, no, man. Like I, if you didn't see it in this video, like I genuinely, really appreciate all of you, and you guys gave me a life. Like, simply put, like this, like, like it's just amazing. You know, you guys touch me in the same way that uh, hopefully I've impacted you and um, I couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier to do what I do and I couldn't be happier to go forwards and um, make some real cool stuff. So this is only the beginning. Guys, thank you so much for being part of this. Uh, love you. Uh, join my other channels if you, if you like them. They're all going to help pay for episode two uh, as I continue to work on those ones as well. And I'll see you in the next unboxing video or, you know, the next video, obviously. But we're going to I'm going to have one of these at least once a month. So if you want to send me stuff, it's in the description below. Go to the the, the mailbox and send me whatever you like. Um, and yeah, just thanks, guys. Thank you for everything. I love you all. So have an awesome rest of your day. I'm going to go catch a movie uh, in like an hour or two with my buddies. We're going to get some food or some pizza or something like that. And I'll have a video for you guys out tomorrow. So once again, thank you, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always. Bye, guys.